Surveillance cameras at the Tulsa Performing Arts Center show the moment the 100 mile per hour winds shattered doors and windows get this while people were still inside. Thank you for staying with us at 930. I'm Tatum Gwynn and I'm Jonathan Cooper. Now crews are working around the clock to make repairs before the PAC's next show. News on 6's Ashlyn Brothers shows us the moment this storm was caught on camera. Ashlyn. Well, Jonathan and Tatum, the good news is the PAC managed to make it through the final performance of the Lion King just before the storms hit. The bad news, well, there's a lot of damage that still needs to be cleaned up before their next event. Severe storms put on quite a show at Tulsa's Performing Arts Center, just not the kind anyone wants to see. This is security video from the PAC that shows strong winds blowing out the doors and windows, tossing around furniture, and ripping out ceiling tiles. I was so thankful that the people in the hallway were not in front of the doors. You can tell that the force of how those blew out, it would have probably killed someone. CEO Mark Fry says with the gaping hole, rain poured into the promenade level, soaking the floors and furniture. We also have quite an extensive art collection and uh, we have specialists that are on their way here to make sure uh, what, what is damaged, what is not, and how we can repair our great art collection as well. Fry says pressure from the storm was so intense it didn't just damage the exterior of the PAC. It actually shattered uh, other doors that are probably a couple hundred feet away from us. Uh, in interior doors, it also sheared off Third Street doors, uh, Third Street lobby doors. Fry is working with city leaders on a plan to make repairs to the publicly owned but privately managed facility. He's glad no one was hurt and now says the show must go on. As soon as we were able to secure and tie down the building, we still had 21 semi trucks to load Lion King out. Now the show 1964 The Tribute will be here on a Friday night and they're hoping to have most if not all of the damage cleared out by then. Live in downtown Tulsa, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.